In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Good evening and welcome to this, our office of evening prayer. God feeds his people with the bread of life. Let us worship and praise him. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Come bless the Lord. Come bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord. You who by night stand in the house of our God, lift up your hands towards the holy place and bless the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion, the Lord who made heaven and earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. And so as we come to the end of this day, let us call to mind and confess our sins. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, in penitence we confess that we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, Christ our Lord, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and keep us in eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our appointed psalm for this evening is Psalm 27, and it can be found on page 634 in our prayer books. Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom then shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, come upon me to devour me, they shall stumble and fall. If an army encamps against me, my heart shall not be afraid. And if a war should rise against me, yet will I trust. One thing I have asked from the Lord, which I will require, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to see the fair beauty of the Lord and to seek his will in his temple. For he will hide me under his shelter in the day of trouble and conceal me in the shadow of his tent and set me high upon a rock. And now he will lift up my head above my enemies around about me, and I will sacrifice in his sanctuary with exaltation. I will sing, I will sing praises to the Lord. O Lord, hear my voice when I cry. Have mercy upon me and answer me. My heart has said of you, seek his face. Your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me, or thrust your servant aside in displeasure. For you have been my helper. Do not cast me away or forsake me, O God of my salvation. Though my father and my mother forsake me, the Lord will take me up. Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me in your path, for they lie in wait for me. Do not give me over to the will of my enemies. For false witnesses have risen against me, and those who breathe out violence. But I believe that I shall surely see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Oh, wait for the Lord. Stand firm, and he will strengthen your heart. And wait, I say, for the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. 
Amen. Our lesson is written in John chapter 4, and I read from verse 27 to verse 42. John chapter 4, reading from verse 27. The disciples rejoin Jesus. Just then his disciples returned and were surprised to find him talking with a woman. But no one asked, what are you, do you want? Or why are you talking with her? Then leaving a jar, a water jar, the woman went back to the town and said to the people, Come see a man who told me everything I ever did. Could this be the Christ? They came out of town and made their way towards him. Meanwhile, his disciples urged him, Rabbi, eat something. But he said to them, I have food to eat that you know nothing about. Then his disciples said to each other, Could someone have brought him food? My food, said Jesus, is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. Do you not say four months more and then the harvest? I tell you, open your eyes and look at the fields. They are ripe for harvest. Even now the reaper draws his wages. Even now he harvests the crop for eternal life so that the sower and the reaper may be glad together. Thus the saying, one sows and the other reaps is true. I sent you to reap what you have not worked for. Others have done the hard work and you have reaped the benefits of their labor. Many of the Samaritans from that town believed in him because of the woman's testimony. He told me everything I ever did. So when the Samaritans came to him, they urged him to stay with him, and he stayed two more days. And because of his words, many became believers. They said to the woman, we no longer believe just because of what you said. Now we have heard for ourselves, and we know that this man really is the savior of the world. Here ends the lesson. This evening, John tells us that the disciples return from their trip into town and they find Jesus chatting to this woman. But not any woman, a Samaritan woman. And when we read this account of Jesus, we need to realize again or be reminded that this Samaritan woman, that Jews would not interact with him. And secondly, because she was a woman, it wasn't a custom or known for a Jewish man to converse openly with a woman as Jesus did. And thirdly, we need to remember again that this woman led an adulterous life. But in all of this, I believe this evening, the significant thing to notice here is the mind of Christ, the ways of Christ. And Christ's mind and his ways are often at odds with our cultural norms. Christ's view of the world was at odds with the world view of his disciples in that moment. And Christ wants us to have his view of the world. As he calls you and me, his disciples, to renew our minds, to see the world as he sees it. 
Jesus calls you, my dear brother and sister, to be the bearer of good news, to be the bearer of his hope and salvation for the world, that it would take us into places and situations that's not normally the norm but that, again, as we've heard in John chapter 3, that Christ came for all. May you and I be blessed as we continue to serve God, remembering that the fields are white unto harvest, but the laborers are few. Don't let us waste any opportunity to tell of the goodness, the hope, that is in Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, now let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people a light to reveal you to the nations and to the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. I believe and trust in God the Father, who made the world. I believe and trust in his Son, Jesus Christ, who redeemed humankind. I believe and trust in his Holy Spirit, who gives life to the people of God. I believe in and trust in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so, Lord, we thank you for your word this evening, where you remind us that the fields are white unto harvest, that you call us to go into the world to share the good news, your good news of love, of hope, redemption, and salvation. And so, Lord, give us your hearts, your eyes, so that we may see the world differently, that we may live differently, holy lives that are acceptable unto you. So, Lord God, we ask you to give us your blessing to your church, holiness, to the world, peace, to this nation, justice, and to all people, knowledge of your law. Keep safe our families, protect the weak, heal the sick, comfort the dying, and bring us all to a joyful resurrection. We ask these things through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Eternal God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works proceed, give your servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and that free from the fear of our enemies, we may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ our Savior. Lighten our darkness, Lord, and by your great mercy defend us in all perils and dangers of the night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. So the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all forever. Amen. I trust and pray that you will have a peaceful night's rest. 
God bless and goodbye.